welcome to Castle Carrie. Carrie is my great grandfather's name, and the line of Carries came from this area. Good morning. good morning, everything looks so good. Having a bacon savory. And this is the vegetable puff. This is such a cute town, I love it. <gasps> Look at that window. There's so many like coffee shops and bakeries. I, yeah, this is definitely uh, where my family used to live. <laughs> <laughs> they call their hospital surgery. So most of these graves are very worn, but we're trying to find one with Carrie on it. We're in Castle Carrie, so you think one of my relatives would be in this grave site. Covered in weeds. <laughs> yeah. Some of these from like 1800s have been redone, so you can actually see. But 1800 is the oldest I've seen that I can actually still read. No success. The parking here is just so tight that I had to get out of the car before Peter completely parked and then I had to wait for him to get me next. She loves to keep talking to us. All these busy roads and so many turns. Gotta help Peter navigate. Two way. Check it, check it, check it. Oh my goodness. Ah. <laughs> and then a lot of times we're actually like going around corners and you can't see. How many times in that road and people just like hog the road? And you're like, dude, get over. We are on, like, in the grass right now. <laughs> in the bushes. It's crazy. And apparently these are really um, wide roads compared to the Lake District. <laughs> I don't know who rented this car previous to us, but it smells like B.O. in here. And I keep going, like, what, what, do I really smell that bad? But it's not me. It's not me. It's not me. And it's not Peter. I don't know, there's like something in the fence. So beautiful. Peter's getting some pictures. Don't get too close. He doesn't have a zoom lens on, so he's got to get close. What are you doing, buddy? I don't have food. Get away from me. Seriously. Oh my goodness. years after the original building and you can see how tastes have changed um, the, the, the structure is much more elaborate uh, much more delicate filigree carving it was added after the English Reformation within 20 years of that tower being built the trouble started and the piers on this western side began to sink into the ground the tower started leaning. So if nothing had been done, they would have followed the example of some other, of those other places and come crashing down. So this is the oldest clock face. Yeah. And you can see one of them the gets yeah. knocked off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So for 600 years he's been trying to stay off. <laughs> <laughs> this is someone who's pulling a thorn out of his foot. <laughs> Just keeps going. 
this is chained library. It's crazy. You found a cat? I don't want a cat. I was taking a nap. We are currently in Bristol, and Bristol is the birthplace of John Carey and William Carey, uh, two of my relatives, and they were both sheriffs of Bristol. And Bristol's a huge town now, oh my goodness, it's um, not quite as big as London, uh, but there's definitely a lot of traffic. So Peter's going into the bank to finally get some pounds because all of these places for parking require coins and they don't take our foreign credit card. Charles Schwab reimburses you 100% of all of your international ATM fees, so that's great. We were needing water and he comes out with like these three huge bottles. <laughs> your arm's full enough? So it's 20 p. That shop doesn't make much sense to me. By the shore, there's a carnival going on. There's an aquarium, lots of family friendly places. So, the M Shed has all of the local Bristol history. Alright dad, we tried. No luck finding any um, sheriff of Bristol information about William and John Perry. Having a fries Turkish delight in Bristol. Thank you, Ralph, for finding these at the store. He already had the cream. We're in traffic. And I was like, Peter, now is not the time for chocolate. He's like, but perfect it's, time. Yeah, stop and go. Watch it. Stop. I'm stopping going down to the suspension bridge. And currently they have a balloon festival going on in town. And so parking is nuts around here. 10 pounds is what they were asking for parking. And uh, we went down a little road and, and we discovered this. And so it was free parking um, just to go on these trails. There's a bridge, really high cliffs too. It's almost three o'clock and we haven't eaten lunch yet. Yeah, I'm faint. I had a snack though. And some wild blackberries. Oh. I don't know. Are they taste they taste good? Taste Where's the bear? Look hmm? at them all. They have a weird aftertaste. Not bad. That means on the way back it's up. This is the workout part. And this part isn't even the steep part, it gets really steep later. This is good up for all the sitting with you. Yeah, seriously. Give our legs a workout. This is Castle Calm. What a quaint little town. Such a cute town. So Dawson City was the cutest town I've ever been to. I believe that Castle Calm is the most picturesque town I've ever been to. It is, the gardens were so pristine and everything was so lovely, and everyone was really quiet too, it was so peaceful. So I just, I loved visiting, I'm glad we stopped. I'm glad I actually woke up from my nap. We're looking for some Thomas Kincaid cottages. English cottages in the Cotswolds. Oh, <laughs> 
So we found out a little bit about the um, the thing. So they do it every week, and it's a church group that does it. So you bet on the boats that you think it's gonna win, and that money that's raised goes to charity. Um, and they got 50 quid tonight for um, that for the charity. So that's really cool. That was really fun to to watch. When you have a sign that's pointing this way for the toilets, then you walk that little way, then there's a sign pointing this way for the toilets, and hmm, there were no toilets, and then there's a sign pointing this way for the toilets, so you walk that way, and there are no toilets! Bring toilets that way, to that way, but the bathrooms are actually over here. Peter just discovered them. Okay, so we found the toilets. Woohoo! Another problem. They're only open for a certain amount of hours because it's paid. And the person that needs to collect the money is in here. So, I still can't pee. I haven't peed since this, since this morning, I don't think. And it's seven o'clock. I've drank in plenty though, so I just really have to pee. Driving out, we found some toilets. Phew. Paying for a toilet, we'll just go in together. 20p. Bladder is relieved. We're good to go. Uh, we're gonna take the scenic route to what? Are, what is it to? Blenheim Palace. Blenheim Palace, which is Church. Churchill's home. Farm country. Well, welcome to the country. Welcome to the country. Just stretches and stretches. Blenheim Palace. It's past 10 o'clock. Found this super cute Oak Hotel on Expedia. This is really nice for 45 pounds. Good job finding it, babe. I tell you what, it was an effort to find it because for 40 minutes I was trying to get data. Uh, Peter's phone like worked all day. And I think it just got overworked because then it just started freaking out. <laughs>